entering the patient's room. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm going to be your student nurse today. Before we get started, can I have you confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yep, uh, Brittany Sunzik, 51896. Perfect. This is the correct patient. I'm going to be providing privacy. Um, maybe. There we go. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be performing a quick assessment of your perfusion today. Should only take about five to ten minutes. If at any point you have any pain or concerns, please don't hesitate to stop me. Patient understands. Um, would you like to put a gown on or are you comfortable in your I'm clothes? comfortable in this. Okay. I'm going to have you empty your bladder and then are you comfortable in the room with privacy, warmth, all of the above? Perfect. Okay. Patient is comfortable. Before we get started, I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Um, do you have a history of any chronic illnesses such as diabetes, um, high blood pressure, anything like that? Okay. Um, do you have a family history of any of those diseases? No. Do you have, um, have you experienced any chest pain, palpitations, any concerns in that area? And do you have any painful areas in your legs, um, enlarged veins, redness, swelling? Nothing? Okay. Perfect. Patient reports no pain. Um, if she had, I would further assess with old cards ice. Um, okay, so I'm going to begin by just assessing your pulses. So I'm going to start with your temporal. So my finger is just going to be on your head. Okay, temporal pulses are equal bilaterally. I'm going to assess your carotid. I'm going to do one at a time so I don't cut off blood flow to your brain. <laughs> Okay, carotid pulses are also equal. Patient appears well-groomed, age-appropriate, breathing is non-labored. I have no concerns upon general assessment. I'm gonna start looking at your arms if that's okay. Start okay, patient's color is appropriate for ethnicity. Pink, warm, arms are pink and warm, symmetrical. Capillary refill is brisk in all fingers. Um, nail beds are pink and 160 degrees. I'm gonna assess your brachial pulses. So I'm gonna have you turn your arm. Hi, my name's Ellie and I'm your nurse today. Can you give me your name and Brachial pulses are equal. Um, amplitude is plus three. All right, I'm gonna test radial pulses. Radial pulses are also equal and plus three. I'm gonna just pinch. This is gonna test your hydration. Okay, no tenting is noted. And I'm gonna move down to your legs now. Legs are pink, symmetric, warm. Color is appropriate for ethnicity. Um, I'm gonna test your pulses behind your ankles. Let me know if I'm hurting you at any point. Posterior tibial pulses are equal and plus three. Uh, no edema or erythema noted. I forgot to mention that. And then I'm going to attest your dorsalis pedis pulses. Also equal, amplitude is plus three. Um, I'm just going to listen to your chest. Let me know if you're experiencing any pain as I do this. And I'm also going to listen to your carotids while I'm here. Okay, so I listened using both the diaphragm and the bell of my stethoscope. Um, upon assessment, S2 is louder than S1 at the aortic and pulmonary valves. Um, S1 and S2 are equal at arm's point, and S1 is louder than S2 at the mitral and Tricuspid valve. Um, <laughs> no bruises were noted in any of these spots as well as on the carotid arteries. And that would conclude, conclude this assessment.